this week on the Hoover Boys. Dead 82. Please be silver. I'm going with my hands. I'm not wearing gloves. Don't be stupid like me, kids. Wear gloves. Oh, what's this right here? Nothing. Okay. Oh. Look at all that corn. Come on, corn, get out of there. I want to get metal detecting in that field. Well, I'm on my way. I hope I'm going the right way to meet Mark. It's dark in here now because I'm like deep in the woods. I'm going to meet him at a new water site. And it happens to be Wednesday. And if you didn't know, we post our weekly episodes on Wednesdays, usually around noon Eastern Standard Time. And, uh, but the days that I'm digging on Wednesdays, I post them early because I'm going to be probably neck deep in water around noon. So if you're ever wondering why I post a video early, it's because I'm digging that day. Or I'm just going to be outside of uh, cell service. And I uh, hope I'm going the right way. I don't know what's going on today. We're going to have some fun and try to save some history. Let's get to it. Oh, jammed up in there. Well, fishing sinkers galore and clad. So, we're going to try to find somewhere else. And that's just mine. That's a lot of targets. That place definitely had potential, but we didn't find anything old. Well, I may have found a tip to an arrowhead. <clears throat> that would be old. I'm pretty sure it is. But it's broken, unfortunately. Nice point on it. Looks like it has some napping, but it's hard to tell out of the water because it's been rolling around there for a couple thousand years. So when all else fails, we go to Coin Beach. That's what we're doing. We're going to throw the boat in go to Coin Beach. Well, I'm trying to block the wind. Uh, it's actually the week after what you've already seen. We went to Coin Beach last week. I ended up finding a wasted copper, a couple buttons, but we didn't take any video. It's a new day, we're at a new spot, and Mark found the first old coin. And I said I wanted to find one of these today. This sit here, this little orange thing, that is an Indian. I do not see a date on there at all, buddy. Oh, that's beautiful, though. I thought I saw some numbers underneath that bust. Did you? Yeah, I thought so. Over there. Uh, yeah, it, it, it's on there. Yeah. I just can't make it out, and it's all wavy and windy. And oh, oh, yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. You got something old. Right I've got like 10 clad dimes and a bunch of pool tabs and bottle caps. It's just the beginning. Yay! All right. <laughs> Hopefully that's a good sign of good things to come. Oh yeah, yeah. If you look in the sun, you can definitely see the four numbers. I just I can't read them. We'll figure it out. Yeah. I'm doing my best to block the wind today. It's it's pretty bad. I've worked all the way down the shoreline and found a nice gravel bed right at the end of it. And uh, I haven't gotten a whole lot of signals on the way down here, but I just fished out a really tight 60 signal. Well, it's something old. It's what we're looking for. It's a little piece to a silver cuff link. No doubt. No doubt about it. Little silver cuff link. And it looks like, I don't know how well it's showing up, but it looks like there's a C on it. So, that'd probably be an initial to whoever owned it. So, a little silver cuff link. I'm going to work this gravel bed. Hopefully, there's some more goodies in here for us to find. Oh boy. After I find that again, of course. Alright, this is cool. About a foot away from the uh, silver cuff link, I found the other piece to it. Now I have cuff links. This one has the shank. I already rubbed up this side because I wanted to see the letter. This one's an A. So AC is the initials. Maybe they're ACDC fans. I'm joking. This is 200 years before ACDC. 
<laughs> that is awesome. I got a pair of cufflinks. Mark went way up the shore to get the boat. Hopefully he will uh, see me down here, work in this area, and come join me. Because that's a good sign. Colonial silver cufflinks. Yeah. All right. Hopefully the next one's a coin, a tree coin. Keep dreaming. I'm right up next to the shore, so I fished this one out with my pinpointer. What is that business? Is it a Maravides? Is it a hammered copper? I know what it is. Believe it or not, that is a two cent piece. <laughs> Sorry, Bob. Bob still has not found his two cent piece. Boy, has that thing been down there for a while. Ugh. The back is, well, I guess this would be the front because this is the date side. It is all tuned up. But it's a two cent piece. My first old coin on the day. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I'm going to work this uh, shoreline all the way up to Mark. Mark's all the way at the point. Sorry about giving you the finger. Met back up with Mark. He brought the boat down. We had some lunch. He found an Indian or another Indian and a couple Wheaties. And uh, I just found a clad nickel, well, a modern nickel. And uh, a couple feet away, I have my best signal of the day. I hope it's not clad. It's definitely gonna be a coin. It sounds amazing. Dead 82. Please be silver. I'm going with my hands. I'm not wearing gloves. Don't be stupid like me, kids. Wear gloves. Oh, what's this right here? Nothing. Okay. Oh. It's a dime. Is it silver? I can't I can't tell. I do not believe let's zoom in. We have zoom. Let's use it. What's the date? 56? 50 something? 54? It is silver! Yay! I got a silver dime. It looks so shiny, almost like claddy, but no. It's silver. <laughs> awesome. Finally got a silver out of here. A silver coin. Yeah. 1954. <laughs> out in the water I found a clad dime spill. I first got a 65, then I got a 67, then a 68. <sighs> they were all in the 60s. Almost was like a 73. But, that's cool. Little silver rosy. Gotta rub those rosies. Feels good. Well, we've been working the area pretty hard where the uh, silver dime came from. And it's been a lot of Wheaties, Memorials, Nickels from the 50s. And I just pulled out a little piece of silver jewelry. It's a sight for sore eyes. I'm hoping there's going to be some silver in here because there's plenty of activity in the 50s. Yeah, it's definitely a silver cross. Yeah, you can see the uh, the black stuff flaking off as I'm touching with my fingers. Silver cross. I am a Catholic. Please call a priest. <laughs> Very nice. A little piece of silver. The wind's whipping again. We got tired of digging Wheaties, so we came over to uh, Gold Beach, the place where Brad found the gold coin. I stepped out of the boat, got a 43 signal. It must be a day for cufflinks. They always said every signal needs to come out of the ground here because there isn't any trash over here. Check them out. A complete set of cufflinks. How thin that wire is. Good thing I saved them when I did because another bad storm and that would have been gone. That is awesome. Love saving colonial history. And that's what this is right there. Alright, there's more here. There's got to be. Let's go find it. Oh, wet. I think it's better. Okay. Alright, well, I found another little piece of a cuff link. A little tiny cuff side 
Mark says he's got something I gotta check out. So let's check it out. Here? Yeah. <laughs> Both sides. That's different. Different. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was thinking. It had to have been a button. How did it beep? Uh, Dad, look at that thing. Yeah. Ooh. I don't know. 62. It's definitely a button beep. That might be a bark and shank there. It's cool looking. I don't want to drop it back in the water. Yeah. When you were describing it to me, I thought you had a bit of a consolatio, but that's cool. Yeah, it's different. Yeah. Good job. I was working on what I thought was going to be a big hunk of junk. It took me a while to get it out of there because it was so deep. I wasn't expecting to see a huge button. Big old dandy button. The design's almost worn off of it. But that's a nice piece of history right there. If we missed that signal, we certainly could have missed a coin signal. So I still have hopes there's a coin or two in here. We'll see though. That was a huge dandy. Well, it's dark. That coin never came. We did pick up a couple more buttons each. But nothing too exciting. We're going to get out of here. That's all I got for you. I guess we're going to do a wrap up or something. Damn son. Ran out of time. Alright, well, we're getting destroyed by mosquitoes. So I'm going to try to make this quick and painless for you. Um, we need to find some new spots in the water. We keep trying and then we revert back to our old sites. And uh, it's been working out for us pretty well, but we're playing them out pretty hard. What we got over here? Bunch of junk. You got a rain guide over here. That's some board filler. Yeah. It's hooked to a top and bottom rig or something. Some old pottery. Yeah, you got some old pottery in there. That looks like some early stuff. Yeah. You put all your big stuff on top of all my smalls. <laughs> I'm trying, I'm trying to show off all my, my pool tabs I dug today. Alright. These bugs are killing me. Not sure on this piece. It's Mark's pile. Oh, there's a bug in my ear. Bug in my back. See some clad. He got these are two wee uh Indians. Sorry, I got a bug crawling on my neck. There's that cool button. Actually, I think this is the cooler side. You got some little buttons, and there's my clad and wheats up there. Some little pieces of lead, a couple of musket balls, a bunch of little small buttons and cufflinks, and there's the big dandy. There's the uh, complete cufflinks. These are the two silver cufflinks. We got the silver dime, the silver pendant, and believe it or not, that's a two cent piece. Blech. Well, that was fun. Until next week, help clean up the ground, dig it all, and take your trash with you. Why? Because all holes matter. These bugs suck. See you next week. <laughs>